Right folks, how are you all doing? God, it's bloody freezing outside. Proper windy. I mean it's just snowing a minute ago, a little bit. <laughs> it's a bit a bit different from when we turned up. Hopefully it uh, calms down a bit as the week goes on. We've had a bit of a uninspiring day today I'm afraid. Um, just one of them. I think we all needed a bit of downtime. It's like the equivalent of having a bed day in your house, I guess. <laughs> we were just going to fill up the water now from our remote highland spring tap in the barn. It's all good. <laughs> At least it saves me having to filter it all. Oh. All right, well, I've barely done anything today. I'm afraid. So, the filming has took a bit of a back seat. But you know, like I said earlier, some days you just need to chill out, don't you? And of course, I have the camera on every day, so you see everything. Cooking up some dinner, you can watch a bit of telly. Seeing some amazing news coming out of the Peak District. So, you know, it's, it's good that the tides seem to be turning a little bit and people actually seem to be helping you know, an amazing response from people as well about offering their sort of places to stay. I mean, we're in one now, but I've seen loads of stuff, you know, people offering up driveways and all of that kind of thing. And that's, that's just awesome. That is the real community spirit that we need right now. You know, all the, all the negative stuff going around at the minute, obviously. Um, it's good to see some positive every now and again. Yeah, really happy to see that. That's brilliant. So yeah, I mean, this is just going to be a tiny video because, like I say, nothing's really happened. But I don't really know what I'm making tonight, if I'm honest. It's just sort of happening. We got sweet potato, jackfruit. rice just experimenting I'm not really a particularly good cook so I just kind of try things and if they work then I add that to the list yeah I think tomorrow I'm going to uh, turn the van around and then put the awning out and try and sort of set up a bit more outside get that little barbecue thing set up because the, the wind's coming from that way um, and the awning only clips on that side so I'll turn it around and uh, yeah get like a little bit of an area could probably start using my side door a bit then as well it's still bloody cold I mean it's three degrees outside right now oh by the way I've seen quite a few comments about that temperature thing I don't know if I mentioned uh, but I have linked it on my Amazon shop so, if you wanted to get one, I mean, so far it's pretty, pretty awesome. Let me have a look at it. So I turn the light on, which is there. You see, 3.3 degrees outside. I've only just fired up the burner, so 13 degrees in here. But yeah, it's, uh, you know, we're all happy, we're all having a good time. Nice, chilled out. No, uh, negative vibes here whatsoever and that is exactly what we need because you know realistically times are tough enough as they are I mean, we don't need any any other drama so it's good we're very fortunate to have been offered this spot by the looks of it these things are probably going to be going on a lot longer than people sort of anticipated so yeah it's, it's good to be sort of hold up somewhere that we know we're safe and uh, got clean water and you know that kind of thing the only thing we don't have a lot of is firewood which we're going to need to sort out but we'll address that there is a forest but that's not on this land so maybe we can have a word with them and you know see if we can go in or something I don't know yeah so I'm just gonna cook up some dinner now and just chill out for the rest of the evening as always 
very slow pace of life at the minute. It's kind of nice, but it does mean not particularly exciting videos for you, unfortunately. But like I said, we've got we've got a few things in the pipeline that we're going to be doing while we're here. Um, I'll try and think of some jobs to do on this van once I get sort of my head back in the game and once this bloody wind pisses off. It's like an ice wind coming through here and it's just making doing anything impossible. But what I will say, um, if there is anything in particular you would like me to discuss, as in like stuff in this van, you know, if there's things you've seen that you'd like me to go over or want me to talk about something, then fire it in the comments and I'll see what you come up with. Take some ideas from that. It'd just be good to, you know, have something else to put in the video, something that might be useful for you. Because obviously I'm not going to be making sort of fancy films and stuff at the minute. Because, well, I mean, that's kind of obvious, isn't it? But yeah, if there is anything you'd uh, like me to do, say, talk about, then let me know. I'll be more than happy to do it. Quite looking forward to this food. It's sort of turning out okay. It's literally just sweet potato, jackfruit, passata, is it? Chopped tomatoes, whatever it is. And a bit of this um, shawarma paste. Parisian spice paste with ginger, turmeric and chilli. A bit of that and a dash of salt. And it tastes bloody good. I'm just going to have that with some rice. I love it when simple food works. I can't wait till we can all start cooking again together. Um, that's going to be a good part of once we get out of this quarantine period. Because then we can like, you know, pool our resources and start making some stews and that kind of thing and sharing it as opposed to all cooking individually and wasting gas and, you know, it'd be better. But we've still got a bit of time. I think we're going to give it another week from today. Because it does say seven days if... Uh, uh, if you've not shown any symptoms, and then two weeks if you are showing symptoms, but we're just going for, it'll be about two weeks since we arrived here. When did we get here? I can't even remember where we are, time-wise. I don't even know what day it is. <laughs> oh dear. Sunday. Is it Sunday? I'm pretty sure it's Sunday. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, next Sunday. So it's pretty much going on two weeks anyway isn't it so I'm sure we'll be fine like I say nobody's going anywhere so once we've done this first bit but you know we're not going to shops and things obviously so there's no other way that we can pick it up from anything like that anything that is in the vans will have died by then uh, but we have been cleaning a lot anyway I think we'll be okay and then we can properly relax because at the minute like you know, we are sort of, you know, not, not let it bother us kind of thing. But it is weird, like, this applies, I imagine, to everyone in the country. This is a strange way to live. Like I say, you know, I've always been a bit of a germ-aware person. But this is obviously a bit more extreme. And it is a bit, it is a bit odd. Uh, I'm sure you can all agree, but you know, we're adapting to it, but realistically this is going to be life for a little while, so there's no point fighting it. So we're going to do our bit, and then once that's done, we can uh, try and sort of make some normality out of it. This jackfruit, I don't know if you've ever used it, it's bloody amazing. It's, um, I'd never even heard of it until not long ago. But it basically simulates pulled pork. Now, obviously, I'm not a vegetarian or anything, but like I've not put any meat in this meal. I've still got some bacon left, and I've used this instead. And it's it's fantastic. It really is. You get it in a can. Here it is. Jackfruit. It's kind of a weird thing, but you sort of, you know, cook it up, and then pull it apart, and it just. If you put some barbecue sauce in it, it's quite difficult to tell the difference between pork. I'm not joking, it really is good. So yeah, I definitely recommend that. Of course, there's a lot of food. I'm gonna be stuffed after this. 
And there we go. Looks a bit like cow shit, but it doesn't half taste good. Uh, a couple of people mentioned I could just cook on the embers in here. That is very true. I think a saucepan would slip in through there all right. So, you know, as an emergency, I could do that. But the downside to doing that is I have to obviously let it get down to embers and then it's not giving off as much heat, which is the reason I'm using the burner at the minute because it's cold. So, I don't know, maybe when it warms up a bit, I could probably do that. It's been mentioned a few times about putting a baffle in there as well. Probably should have done that in the first place, but you know, I didn't really know what I was doing, so this was all new to me anyway. I just wanted it to work. There we go. I do absolutely love this thing though. So glad I put it in. Right, folks, that's it. A very uh, chilled out, uneventful kind of day. That's nice. That's a blessing. To be honest, just chill. We shall see what tomorrow brings. And I shall see you there. Catch you in a bit.